Hello friends, good evening, welcome back to our channel ALP Talks. Today we are here to discuss about uh, battery technology. It is a new technology, flow battery. What is meant by flow battery? It's not like total flowing anything uh, like water and all, but here the charges and all, whatever it is there, yeah, you can see it here. So whatever the image you are seeing, that is uh, iron and water exchange. So we will have generally two, two, two tanks here. For example, this is the tank one, this is the tank two. Uh, so native electrolyte will be in one tank, positive electrolyte will be in an, another tank. So native electrode, uh, it will just, uh, those, those are just separated by a membrane. So, so whenever uh, charges are flow, flowing in this, uh, the electrolyte is flowing in this uh, uh, two circuits, so we can say two valves. So here uh, the exchange of uh, charges and uh, happens between these two. So we can connect a uh, generator or load uh, to this uh, circuit. So let's go into the details. A flow battery, also known as a redox flow battery, uh, from the words of reduction and oxidation. Generally, that's what uh, takes place. This is the basic chemistry actually. Is a, a liquid-based rechargeable cell. In traditional battery, the electrolyte is a medium, medium through which uh, electrons can travel between cathode and anode. In flow battery, the anode and cathode themselves uh, acts as uh, electrolyte solutions. So, in most of a uh, uh, most of simple iteration of a flow battery, the the electrochemical cell consists of uh, two oxes that are each connected to an uh, electrolyte tank. The two tanks are filled with uh, the negative, negatively charged cathode and positively charged uh, anode respectively. The half cells are separated by a porous membrane through which uh, uh, iron ions are exchanged. We can use any other material as metal also. There are also each attached to the current collection collector which joins the cell with the power load. So energy is released and stored by continuous circulation of electrolyte solution through the half cell. We can use any small pump or anything for a circulation and all. Common materials for uh, flow batteries include vanadium, which is uh, favored because of uh, its ability to exist in uh, coarse uh, states of oxidation. The crucial in the reduction and oxidation process, iron chromium, zinc chromium, zinc ion, also typical materials uh, for flow batteries. We can use uh, any of uh, these materials. Uh, so what are the advantages and disadvantages of flow batteries? Flow batteries are still being researched, uh, but studies suggest that they lack same degradation that can be found in the lithium batteries. The, this means that they potentially have much longer life span. Some projects that flow battery can last up to 30 years also, but not like a normal lithium ion batteries. They will last for almost 10 years and then we have to do some maintenance or remodification or something. This makes it good choice for larger and long-term applications. So the whole flow battery is also easily scalable. We can simply increase the tanks, larger tanks and the more concentrated electrolyte solution can be used. However, because of its large mass, flow batteries are not uh, as conveniently portable as lithium ion batteries. Some transportation limitations are there, making them more suitable to stationary energy storage uses. Because the flow batteries do not use same flammable electrolyte material as lithium ion batteries use. They are uh, supposedly safer, removing the issue of flammability of the battery cell. So it is, we can say these are more safer. They are, long, they are also less likely to experience uh, thermal runaway. Thermal runaway also won't happen in these batteries. One of the key disadvantages of flow batteries is uh, lower energy capacity. We can't use for uh, powering a big village. It's uh, difficult. So with the convenience and the high capacity of lithium batteries, it can be difficult for flow batteries to compete. Another disadvantage is a uh, greater upfront cost because initially we have to pay more cost. That is also one thing, but good, and good thing is it will last for more years because the setup itself is larger. It can cost more to install flow batteries. However, because of its long lifespan, it is possible that the cost of ownership is more affordable in the long run. So flow battery applications, where we can use these uh, flow batteries. The main, flow, the main application of flow batteries that is uh, behind the loop that uh, at is uh, for energy storage. So this ranges for small scale uses for home that uses uh, renewable energy or for large, uh, large scale grid storage. Some are also looking into flow batteries for electric vehicles. This technology is still uh, immature, but the concept would borrow from a traditional fuel, fuel powered cars where the fuel flow is inside the battery would be replenished with uh, flushed electrolyte solutions. This arrangement would remove the long term it takes to recharge the EV battery, potentially becoming a much more convenient solution. So 
they have some good equipment, good process also to test, and they test the flow batteries before the, everything is ready. So while adoption to flow batteries is still low, lithium ion, uh, lithium ion still holds the largest market share for the foreseeable future. So it is possible that flow batteries will play an important role in the future of energy storage as the world moves towards uh, green energy sources. A flow battery research continues to grow, new chemistries and improvements will be made for pushing, pushing flow batteries to be stronger contender in the field of energy storage solutions. So you can see this how cute here again, a little like two tanks will be there. So this is about uh, this flow battery guys. I hope this uh, information is useful. If you have any questions or comments or anything, then please comment in the comment section. I'm ready to make uh, videos for those. If you didn't subscribe to this channel, please subscribe to it so that whenever I'm uploading videos, you will get a notification. Bye, we will make the next video, guys.